Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Crocktober recipe. This time we are making pumpkin spice Chex Mix in the crock pot. Yes, you heard that right. And this is a collab with Anchor Amber. She will also be making a crock pot recipe, so make sure you go check her out. I'll have her link down below. This recipe was super delicious, super easy, and super fun, and I cannot wait to share it with you. this recipe you'll obviously need a crock pot and honey nut chex mix it's important to get the honey nut kind cinnamon graham crackers pretzel sticks dried cranberries pancake syrup honey roasted peanuts vanilla cinnamon pumpkin pie spice and a brown sugar you will also need butter one whole stick that i forgot to put in here but let's get cooking you're going to start by layering all your ingredients in your crock pot. I started with the Chex Mix, then graham crackers, pretzels, dried cranberries, peanuts, and then I'm drizzling the syrup mixture on top. So that's just the syrup, butter, brown sugar, and then the spices, and then I'm giving it a good stir, combining it all really well, and then you'll see me add more of the syrup just to get everything evenly coated. Next, I'm just adding some salt to the top. That'll really bring out the sweetness and the flavor of everything else. And then giving it one last stir. And this is what it should look like. All the syrup should evenly coat all of your snacks that are in there. And there might be some syrup at the bottom, but that will all absorb into the Chex Mix and it'll be so tasty. We're actually gonna cook it on high for two hours, but you are gonna have to stir this every 15 minutes to make sure it doesn't burn. Oh my god, you guys, my house smells amazing. This is what it looks like about after an hour. And everything's getting all melty and delicious. The sauce down at the bottom is all melted in into the Chex Mix. And I'm going to let this go for about another hour. I don't really know when it's done. So I'm just going to let it go for two hours like the recipe said. And then we're going to let it dry out on a baking sheet so i'll see you guys in about an hour and this is what it looked like after the two hours you can see at the bottom there is no more syrup and that's pretty much how you know it's done because all that syrup has absorbed into your little snackies and then we're going to move this from the crock pot onto some parchment paper and let it dry out mine really did take about 24 hours to thaw well, not 24 hours probably like 12 hours overnight because i tried to eat it before the 12 hours and it was still kind of gooey so definitely have some patience and give it the time to dry out i just stuck mine in my oven on a baking sheet and it did its thing This is perfect to take along in a little treat bag for trick-or-treating and it's a healthier alternative than candy and will actually fill your kiddos up and they will like it because it is sweet and tastes like pumpkin. So if you are loving this recipe and the Crocktober series, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to check out Anger Amber's recipe. I'll have her link down below. And if you are new from Amber's channel, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I would love for you to consider subscribing and sticking around and being part of the YouTube family. That is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys